Alrighty, boys and girls. So good morning or good afternoon, whatever time you're watching this. Um, I'm pretty bummed right now because this is one of my most favorite math units to teach. So today we're starting with our fraction unit, topic 12. Okay, and we're going to start off with reading a book called Apple Fractions. Apples. Thousands of different types of apples are grown around the world. Apples can be red, yellow, green, or some combination of, the, of these three colors. What is a fraction? A fraction is a part of a whole thing. A fraction is shown by placing one number over another number. A line separates the numbers. So here's a bunch of different fractions you might see through the unit and in the book. We have one half, three fourths, one fourth, two thirds, one fifth, one eighth, one sixth. We have seven eighths, one sixth, one seventh, one third, one ninth, and one tenth. But what's really interesting is we have 1 over 1 right here. I want you to keep that in your mind right now because that's going to be coming up. Macintosh. Here is one whole Macintosh apple. This type of apple can be both a drink and a snack. A Macintosh is very juicy, but it's also crunchy and fun to eat. If you would like to share one apple with someone, what would you do? If I have one ha apple, I have one hole right now. Let me get my number up here, there we go. So I have one whole apple right now. And we all know to represent one, we would put the number one. But what would we do if we want to share it? Two kids, one apple? A solution would be to divide the apple into two parts. A stem for one kid and the apple for the other kid. No, that's not fair. How about a better way? Divide the apple into two equal parts. Here's one half of the apple Here's the other half of the apple. Two kids, one apple, two halves. Sharing apples and learning fractions is fun. So now we've, in, we've been introduced to a new word, fraction. And we know a fraction is part of a whole. This is not the whole apple, it's part of it. It's half of it. We have one part of that whole, and it's a fraction. This apple is called the Golden Delicious Apple. On the outside, it's a thin skin. On the inside, a, the fruit is soft. What if three friends want to eat this apple? Three friends, one apple, three equal parts. So three equal parts right there would equal that entire apple. So we know that three thirds could also equal one whole. If I have all three parts, like I do now, I have a complete whole apple. Here's one third of a golden delicious apple. Not all apples have white fruit. The inside of this apple is light yellow. I wanna take a second here and I wanna introduce a new vocabulary word and it's unit fraction. Our unit fraction is the part of, it is one part of the whole, which also means it will always have a number one on top. Let me put 
put my vocabulary word right there. Unit fraction. And don't forget, there's always a one right on top. Here's what is left over from one whole apple after taking away one third. Two thirds. One third plus two thirds equals three thirds. Three thirds is the whole apple. And if you look down there, I can add each part. I have one third, that's on this page. And then I have our two thirds. And if I put them all back together, we would get three thirds, or we could also write it as a whole. This is a Granny Smith apple. Is it ripe? Yes. A Granny Smith is green even when it is ripe and ready to pick off the tree. This apple is sometimes hard to chew. It is not sweet. It is a little sour. It is my favorite apple. What if four people in a family want to eat one Granny Smith apple? The apple would need to be divided into four pieces. We have our whole apple and that's one over one because we don't have any pieces left yet. Each family member would get one fourth. The top number of a fraction is called the numerator. The numerator of this fraction is one. So now we have a new word, the numerator, which is our top number. Numerator. The bottom number of the fraction is called the denominator. The fraction 3 fourths has a numerator of 3 and a denominator of 4. And what's super easy to help you remember the difference is denominator is down. It's on the bottom. So denominator and down, look at those arrows right there. Reminds me, the denominator is always going to be on the bottom, and that means the numerator is on top, three-fourths. A gala apple is a medium-sized apple. It is about the size of your fist. The largest apples are as big as grapefruits. The smallest are the size of cherries. This gala is cut into five equal pieces. Each piece is one fifth. One fifth plus four fifths, put it together, equals five fifths. When the numbers above and below the line are the same, the fraction equals one whole, which we've already talked about. Five-fifths is equal to one over one, which also equals one. They all equal one whole. Now, if you cut an apple sideways, you will notice that the core is shaped like a star. Dividing the apple sideways instead of from the top to bottom will not give you equal parts. The top, the middle, and the bottom of the apple are all each a different width. Therefore, we need to remember to always break our holes, our whole object, maybe that apple, into equal pieces. All pieces must be equal to be fair. 
And I know in my classroom, we put that word equal in our heads at the very beginning of the year, so I know you'll remember that. There are three basic types of apples, eating apples, juice apples, and baking apples. No matter how you slice it, a Cortland is a wonderful apple to use when baking a pie. And here we have one seventh, and we have six sevenths. If we put it together, one seventh plus six sevenths, what do we get? Seven sevenths, or we get a whole. One tenth. Here are ten apples. Oh well, there there were ten apples. Here are nine apples. One has been eaten. One tenth is now a core. Nine tenths are a whole apple. So here's my one tenth because I did have ten apples. That was my whole. I had 10 of them. But now I only ha I have eaten one. It's my numerator. I've eaten one of my 10. And all that's left is 9 tenths. While you were reading this book, someone baked an apple pie. Let's eat a fraction of it. Well, if they did bake one, they didn't bring it to my house. So I just have my apple here and I'm going to take a nice little bite of it.